Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is NJ Swimmer. One comes to you guys with another video. Today, we're going to be giving our thoughts on Chapter 4, Season 4. If you guys continue to enjoy the content, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, trick that bell so you always get notified every time a new video releases, and let's get right into it. So, last season, I wanted to basically talk about last season real quick. I basically told myself, I told I told everyone, if you guys watched the podcast, if you guys didn't watch the podcast, it's in my channel somewhere. Um, it isn't that far. But I basically said that my expectations were very, very low for this new season. And I, I stuck to it. I even said it in my Battle Pass video, which I will put at the end of this video if you guys want to go ahead and watch that, if you guys like this video or whatever. Um, I basically wanted to just praise this season. This season is really good, guys. Like, if you're my friend, if you a family member, if you are a subscriber, check this season out. Check this season. If you haven't played it, check this season out. This season is something special, man, starting off. One thing I'm hoping, though, is the loot pool stays the way it is now I, you know new content has to come into the game right um i don't think we're gonna have any too anything too crazy but probably halloween right so that might be the craziest it can go as far as getting the pumpkin launcher into the game and different things like that um all the all the halloween items which i i don't mind just don't make it like that season where Battle Royale got replaced by the Midas Battle Royale thing. I, I did not like that. I was not a fan of that. And it ruined Battle Royale. Whatever season that was, it ruined Battle Royale for me personally. I was ready for the Halloween update to be over with at that point. So please don't do that. And let's go with one negative thing that I have about this season and this this guy this guys might surprise you because you might think i might just say something ridiculous but they need to update the game and they need to update if you're a playstation 5 or series x owner you might be experiencing issues when landing at one of those um vault spots you know what i'm saying where they have the midas drum gun and all that at like if you're a new new player and you're watching this basically it's a bolt that you can unlock with a key card after you get done eliminating the boss and you take that key card to the vault open it up and then they got these cases that have drum guns um you know smgs or whatever else that's there and they all mythic weapons so you take one and the thing locks down now that's not my problem the problem is this a lot of players land at that location and at last season when i landed at a location with a whole bunch of people my fps did not drop down with this with this season you land at one of those areas your fps will drop down my the lowest mine has gotten is to 39 fps i play on the ps5 and it should not be doing that now i give playstation and xbox a lot of uh a lot of negativity sometimes when it comes to FPS because I be thinking it's their fault. But somewhat it's kind of theirs, but at the same time, no. I think it's more it's on the more side of Epic Games. That is something they got to fix on their side, the FPS issues. So that is my only gripe about that. Like, I, I don't want to make it a long conversation or anything like that. It's nothing really crazy, but at the same time, when you are having a really good game and FPS is the reason why you, you know, basically get eliminated, you kind of going to want to, you kind of going to want that to be fixed. And my, my voice is not going to be the one that gets it fixed. If, if it was a really good popular content creator that basically says something about it then we might be cooking with something but me ain't gonna really be that big of a deal so let's go ahead and move on let's go ahead and talk about the loop pool man loop pool was great i already said something about it earlier but uh i wanted to touch on a few weapons that have been added uh the infantry the infiltrator rifle the infiltrator no not the infiltrator rifle the infiltrator pump shotgun I don't 
know how I feel about that weapon. I feel like it needs a little bit more of a buff. I don't think it's that good. Even the Mythic one, I used the Mythic one in a match and lost because uh, of the weapon itself. I had a Purple Sharp 2 top, a shotgun, and it actually did a lot more damage than the Infiltrator Pump um when i was using it so i don't i don't know the sharp tooth is probably one of the be better guns to use in this season but also don't sleep on the maven the maven is a really good shotgun as well we also have the suppressed sniper rifle which i think that's a really good gun um we have a, a new ar that's really cool that has a scope it's called a twin mag assault rifle um we used to have something back in the day called the twin mag smg which was really good um or at least for certain people i didn't i didn't really like it personally but this twin mag assault rifle i really do like um it's nothing like the twin mag but it does have less ammo just like the twin mag usually you know had right when it was in the game i'm not sure if it's in the game now but the twin mag comes in different uh different uh varieties or different rarities i think it's uncommon common rare epic legendary and also mythic that you can get in one of those vaults i mentioned earlier so it's a really good gun don't don't get me wrong um it's probably the best assault rifle you can probably use the havoc suppress is still in the game um i don't really know how i feel about that but it kind of it kind of slaps sometimes it's one of those weapons in my opinion that you would kind of just want to use at the beginning I think I think it's one of those weapons um, until you get a better version of the twin mag that's better than your havoc rifle then you probably just gonna probably carry that um, they got they got some they got some really th good things in the season they got the Midas drum gun inside of one of those bolts they got a whole bunch of different kind of mythic things um, in, in, inside the game itself we got the rocket ram item which is a very good item I'm not even gonna lie it's a great mobility item shockwave grenades are back for good this time um they have not been voted or anything they are not been said it was going to be in there for a limited time it's really good we got vehicles um obviously still in the game not new vehicles or anything like that but hey it works and i feel like we don't really need any mobility for the rest of the season like i'm gonna be completely honest I know they're gonna have to add new items like new weapons and stuff like that that's why they keep it somewhere on hold like this like type of grenade launcher type item that was shown in the trailer when you load up the game for those that haven't played or for those that haven't seen it we supposed to be expecting that to come into the game soon and so much more consumables is really good like i, I mentioned the chug jug earlier um we got the minis obviously the uh the chugs what the chug splashes i think maybe maybe we have like slap splashes and stuff like that um uh still in and still in the game and uh the key the hollow chest everything's there um the weapons the weapons um isn't too much like we got a decent amount of weapons in the game we got a lot of mythics in this season but you only get to grab one i think um i'm not really too sure how you can get uh, the other mythics inside of the vault but i think I think you only can grab one. I played duos with one of my cousins and he was able to get one and I wasn't really able to get any of the mythics. Um, hopefully they can fix that for one time uh, for duos and squads or trios. It's not really nothing like a fix. That's probably what you gotta do anyway. Um, I, I tried, um, you know, I tried telling my cousin that we can probably uh, grab the, uh, one mythic um, I think one mythic uh, at the same time um, and see if we can have two mythics. We try to click on it and I'm not sure if our sync was off or anything, but when I tried to grab the weapon and he tried to grab the weapon, it didn't, the weapon didn't go to me. So that was very interesting as well. But um, I can ramble on and on about this season, but I'm going to end it with this. Battle pass is very, very interesting um, as far as the skins are, are concerned. That's what I mean by the battle pass. Um, we got the Star Wars collab coming, which that is kind of carrying the season right now. Um, the Ahsoka or whatever her name is. I don't want to butcher her name, but if I did, I apologize. Um, she's supposed to be coming out. I'm not really a big uh, Star Wars fan or anything like that, but I do love their video games, I will say. But um, yeah, we are looking for Ahsoka to come to the game. We have that girl with the mask with like the like the dress, uh, the office lady or whatever. She kind of looks like a secret CIA agent type character. That's my favorite character in the battle pass. Um, 
We got the anime girl, which she is pretty cool as well. At least one of her edit styles that surprised me in the battle press. Because first I was like, eh. And then when I saw it, I was like, okay, that looks kind of cool. Cabby Lame is really cool. Um, one of his edit styles is really cool. But I was on the verge of being like, no. Nah. I was about to be like, no. I don't know what the secret styles are looking like, but hopefully they are probably the best they ever look. Hopefully. Um, I don't know what they're going to have for that, but hopefully it's really good. Uh, we haven't seen any of the Fortnite crew skins yet. Um, and, you know, a starter pack is on the verge of, uh, of being around the corner somewhere. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for that. Um, the Nolan Chance skin, I don't really like that skin. I think it's probably the worst skin of the past. And what well, we got that, what the muscular fish, uh, what is it, fish thick or whatever. I don't think I want to use that skin at all either because how bulky the skin is. That's the reason why I kind of just use the female skins in the game because how bulky the male skins can be. You will know when I really like a male skin, but uh, the tier 100, he's pretty cool. I, I will say, say uh, I won't play him for uh, I won't play him for a while once I get him, but that's gonna be really cool as well. Um, we're gonna make a video going over XP and different things like that. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna end it off with one more thing. Um, I've been playing. I've been playing it for four days so far. Haven't bought the battle pass, and I'm level 31. Sorry about my phone right there. Um, I'm level 31, and also I haven't really played too much battle royale to go ahead and do it. I've been on a lot of creative, which is something that is not on my radar. I love to play uh, Battle Royale just because that, that is how I've been usually doing things. But the pit is something to play and that's something we're going to be talking about in the next video. If you guys continue to enjoy the content, you already know what to do. I don't have to tell you that cringy YouTube stuff. That's what my that's what my favorite, you, one of my favorite YouTubers, food YouTubers, King Strat says. Um, cringy YouTube stuff. Y'all already know what to do. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.